And Domenico, you've been talking to Republican base voters quite a bit. What patterns are you hearing when you talk to them? Well, you know, I mentioned earlier talking about having covered the Tea Party. And, you know, when I was out on the campaign trail and talking to Tea Party activists and whatever, people who would attend these things, sometimes they would slip and say something very offensive. And often they'd say, oh, you know, that was off the record. Um, you know, make sure that's, that my name's not attached to that. I am not finding that to be the case anymore. Trump has won the case against political correctness. As he, you know, we don't hear about it anymore because he's really kind of taken down that wall. I mean, just a voter that I spoke to earlier this year, um, someone who had participated in one of our surveys, you know, started talking about something that really wound up being pretty racist and was totally fine and out there and talking about it. And I was just like, this is a total change. This is not something that um, is has been traditionally the way things go. This shame factor in being able to feel like we're part of polite society mm -hmm. and I shouldn't really feel that way and I get it. Mm -hmm. It's just Trump has given license to a lot of people to feel a lot of ways and be able to say what they want to say. And when you hear people talk about free speech online, this is a part of what they're talking about. They're feeling more emboldened to say racist things in some cases. Uh, Todd, before 